The easiest way to put red and white is war. You've got your well-ordered, well-disciplined units, tons of conformity, maybe even a little bit of moralistic mumbo-jumbo tossed in, and then you get to the battlefield, everyone's right. And you get to the battlefield, you hear all the screaming, whether from pain or it's a, or a war cry, and also if you're nice little plane to raise. One of the easier ways for within a person or a group for it to happen is perhaps your white designs are being driven by red passion. You, you, know, you have morals you wish to apply to society, so you drive them very, you drive it with your passion. The flip is also possible. You are an anarchist. But you and your group are rather well organized and well disciplined. In terms of mechanics, I can't think of anything off the top of my head particularly unique to the color hybrid, but noting the colors involved, there's a decent chance your enemy is not going to be able to really screw around with you on the creature basis. Noting the fact you have a bunch of direct damage, you have some exile, you can stop them from attacking and blocking. So you'll be able to take out your enemy's biggest threats. Your units will probably be small and quick. You will have a decent amount of life gain, most likely. And also, kind of off the wall common, to my opinion, but good chances are your enemy won't have a ton of artifacts. Both white and red are actually pretty decent for artifacts destruction, so yeah. At any rate, that is me.